This is Twit. The information is reporting that Apple's former senior vice president of retail, Chief Ron Johnson, is launching a gadget delivery service, citing people who spoke with Johnson on the project. The service is said to be an on-demand delivery service for electronic devices, which would be taking on some new offerings from Amazon and Google and even Uber, which has begun experimenting with food order deliveries. Johnson has apparently hired on former Apple employees to help with the new venture, including vice president of retail, Jerry McDougal, who left Apple back in 2013. Johnson is best known for creating the Apple Store concept, at least the one that we know of these days. He left the company in 2011 to take on a position at JCPenney, but was fired in April of last year. Home automation is becoming a crowded market, although sort of slow to adopt, with Google buying smart thermostat maker Nest, Microsoft partnering with Smart Labs, Insteon, Apple's Home Kit, which was announced at WWDC back in June, Samsung's purchase of smart things last month, but New York-based startup called Wink, which launched in June with a $79 box, promises to tie together devices across competing standards. Might have a leg up on some of these other companies. Standards like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave. Now, big companies like Honeywell, Philips, Chamberlain, Schlage, GE and other large brands are already creating Wink compatible products, so that's promising. Big merchants like Home Depot and Amazon are already marketing the Wink brand. And today the company has announced its second big product called Relay. It's a $300 wall mount touchscreen that acts as a command and control center for connected devices in your house. The Relay would connect to standard wiring on any light switch, has a touchscreen to program devices to work in sync, and two physical buttons that execute programs, shutting the house down for the night for example, or powering up everything in the morning. Very interesting. Google search results are getting more and more factual. Earlier this month, Search Engine Land noticed that Google was testing a form of knowledge graph data within a snippet of search results, and the feature has now been confirmed by Google on its research blog. Google calls these structured snippets, where Google will show snippets of data that are relevant to whatever the search query was within the snippet itself of the results. The company says that the data is powered by the knowledge graph and other data sources. So, for example, a search for a Nikon D7100 camera now includes sensor resolution and weight and display size in those snippet results. PayPal is warming up to Bitcoin, slowly but surely. The company has announced partnerships with three leading Bitcoin payment processors in the U.S. and Canada, BitPay, Coinbase, and GoCoin. PayPal, which is owned by eBay, wants to help merchants accept Bitcoin payments. And a PayPal spokesperson tells the next web, we are considering expanding to other markets. PayPal says it chose to integrate with the third-party functionality directly in the PayPal payments hub, with all three Bitcoin payment processors because they already offer customers protections when dealing with this virtual currency. PayPal is not adding Bitcoin as a currency to its own digital wallet though, nor is it processing Bitcoin payments on its own payments platform. Everything is being handled by the third party services. Even if it's baby steps though, even then, the price of Bitcoin jumped up around $50 today following the PayPal news after hovering between about $400 and $500 since April.